Hello everybody, this is my video on how to make a bucket server for Mac 1.7.3. Okay, first things, uh, it's Creeper, I uh, forgot to tell you this, it's Creeper Zone 360 here, talking with Louine. So first, let's get started. So, first thing first is you need a uh, the craft bucket, the jar. You can't, you can't run it, you see? You try to run it, there will be an error coming up. And this will all come up that you don't want to do that because you want to do a terminal. Let me just empty my trash. First things first, what the hell? Oh my god, fail. Um, first things first, you want to make a folder called anything. I would call it MC server. I mean, just server. Spelled it wrong. Well. So I just drag it in. Then with ter with terminal, you write cd space. Then you drag the you drag the folder in here. Then enter. There should be no errors. Now you need the code to run it up. I got my code in this special like text edit place here. See, one ROM is this one, three, two ROM, three, two and a half. I use three ROM. So for you guys, you would use one. For starters, so copy that, then paste it in, then press enter. It should run your server. It should work perfectly fine. Let's just wait until it loads up. I wonder. I'll take the like, stuff. So. Take a long. Let's see how many minutes this video is so far. One, two minutes, okay. Okay, guys, you don't need to watch this. I'll just pause it, then play it again when it's done. See you guys later. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, the. Yeah. So it said done. That means it's done. Then you just want to stop this. Start the exit. For your bucket server. So if you want to make it less light, just delete server.log. Don't worry, it'll come back. You're gonna want to open this. Open with other text added. Always open. So once you open it, if you if you pick always open, you just press this. Then it goes like that. Okay. If you can't see, I'll do this. Whoa, that's a little too big. <laughs> Anyways, level world name. Mine would be world. Like nether. If you want nether, let's keep it true. I don't like, I don't want nether. Keep it. On um, spawn monsters, true. Online mode. So, online mode explains how, if you want. On, on, online mode, if you put it true, that means premium. it's a premium server. If, it, if you put it to false, um, it, crack players can join. My, some of my friends are cracks, so I put a crack. I put an animals too. You're gonna. So maximum players is twenty. You're gonna want to maximum it down. To, I would keep it to ten. Server IP. Leave that alone. And um, PVP. If you want PVP, keep it on. I don't want it because I'm making a survival server. Port. If you want to change that, we don't want to change that. So a lot of flight falls. I would keep it true because I have to lie mod. Now all you do is click save and you're done. So that's probably it. Then you just run it one more. Oh wait, I what am I doing? If you don't know your IP, oops, go to ipchicken.com with like that com. Here it is. So this is my IP. That's I don't I don't want that to I don't use that to join. You have to find your IPv4 to join. Since I have this program called Port Map, which you port forwarded, it makes you port forward a server. You see, it makes you port forward a server. If you get this, all you do is press Add. Then the local port is two five five six five. That's what it is, then you press this, then 
that's all. See, here we go. There's your IPv4 at the top. So, first things first, you want to run it. Bucket server, then copy. You should still have that code. You should run it perfectly. Then open your Minecraft. Once you once you write your IPv4, which is right here, one nine two one six eight zero two. Oops, what the hell? One nine two one six eight zero two. You see, Timebridge has joined the game. It should work. My Minecraft's just loading up. There. It's gonna it's gonna render the world. You're like falling in the void. There. It's a snowy world. So let me check five time. Yeah. So if you want to stop it, just you stop. If you're not up, if you want to be up, just you slash up your name. So we're gonna stop this and turn this off. So you're if you want Hamachi, which is gonna all you do is go to your server properties and download Hamachi then create a new network call it whatever you want then go here and write your Hamachi ID so that's how you join your Hamachi let's check if it works for Hamachi you you have to write you have to write your um, Hamachi ID you don't need to write your IPv4 so let's run the server one more time Copy that in there. Oops, that that when that happens, you have to change the port. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.